Consider this problem. A database file consists of 10,000 records. The size of each record is 100 byte. The block size is 512 byte. A primary sparse B plus 3 index is built over the database file whose search key size is 22 byte and the size of both block pointer and record pointer is same 12 bytes. What is the minimum number of index blocks required? We have to find the minimum number of blocks or the minimum number of nodes present in the B plus tree index built over this database file. So to find the minimum number of nodes, we should consider every node is maximum occupied. This will reduce the number of nodes required as well as the number of levels of the B plus tree index. And here it specified that the index is sparse. So the first level itself will be a primary sparse index. Hence for every record of the database file, there will not be an entry in the leaf node. For each and every block of the database file, there will be one entry, one key data pointer pair in the leaf node. So in order to find the total number of key data pointer pairs in all the leaf nodes, we should find the total number of blocks required to keep the database file. It said the size of the record is 100 bytes and the size of the block is 512 bytes. Then how many records can we keep in each block? 512 by 100, 5.12. Thus we can keep five complete records let the record be unspanned so five records can be can we keep in each block if five records are kept in each block then for 10000 records how many blocks are required 10000 by 5 2000 blocks are required to keep the entire database file Hence, the number of key data pointer pairs in the leaf nodes will be equal to the number of blocks that is 2000. Now if we can find the number of key data pointers each leaf node can keep then we will be able to find the total number of leaf nodes at the first level. So in order to find the number of key data pointers that can be kept in each leaf node we should consider the structure of the leaf node. And here we are considering every node is maximum occupied. So we should find the maximum number of pointers or the maximum number of key data pointer pairs that can be kept in the leaf node. So consider the structure of the leaf node according to it. If there are n data pointers then there will be n number of keys and one block pointer or node pointer. Together it should occupy a block of size 512 bytes. Thus n data pointers each of size 12 bytes and n keys each of size 22 bytes plus one node pointer or block pointer the same size 12 bytes. The total size should be less than or equal to 512. This implies 34n should be less than or equal to 512. Hence, n should be less than or equal to 14.7. Thus, what is the maximum possible value for n? It is 14. If it is 15, the 512 bytes will not be enough. Hence, the maximum possible value for n is 14. Hence, the maximum key data pointer pair that can be kept in each leaf node is 14. So consider each leaf node is maximum occupied. There are 14 key data pointer pairs kept in each leaf node. Then how many leaf nodes are required to keep 2000 key data pointer pairs? 2000 by 14, 142.8. So here we should take the seal value because if we take 142 leaf nodes, it means the 142 leaf nodes are filled to their maximum. There is no more space in those leaf nodes. Then to keep the remaining data anyway, one more leaf node will be required. Thus 142 nodes are not enough. We need 143 leaf nodes and we distribute the data among all the nodes such that none of the node is less than half filled. Hence, minimum number of leaf nodes required at the first level is 143 nodes. 
Now moving up the next level of internal nodes. To find the minimum number of nodes at the internal nodes at the next level, we should consider every internal node is having the maximum number of children. So to find the maximum number of children possible for the internal node, we should consider the structure of the internal node. According to the structure of internal node, if there are a maximum of m number of pointers, m number of block pointers each of size 12 bytes then there will be m minus 1 keys each of size 22 bytes together it should occupy a block size 512 bytes thus 12m plus 22m should be less than or equal to 534 thus m should be less than or equal to 15.7 so what's the maximum possible value for m it is 15 Thus, maximum number of children possible for an internal node is 15. Thus, if each internal node is having 15 leaf nodes as children, then for 143 leaf nodes, how many, in how many internal nodes will be required? 143 by 15, 9.5 nodes are required at the next level. So 9 nodes are not enough. For the 9 node there will be only 135 leaf nodes. So for the remaining leaf node anyway one more node will be required. Thus total 10 nodes are required at the next level. So here we should take the seal value not the floor. Now moving up to the next level the root can have a maximum of 15 children and here there are only 10 nodes. Thus one more level can we can use and it will be the root node. So if every node is filled to their maximum capacity, the minimum number of levels required is 1, 2, 3, 3 levels and the minimum number of nodes required is 143 plus 10 plus 1. That is 154 nodes or 154 index blocks are required to the minimum.